G'day everyone. I hope you are doing well no matter where you are in the world at the moment. I know it's a really crazy time for everyone and I know that we have been gone for quite some time. Today we wanted to share with you a little bit about what's been going on. It's been a pretty eventful last few months and also what the plan is for the future. But you guys are probably pretty sick of seeing inside and being indoors so let me go outside first. That's better. Okay, so I want to start by saying a huge thank you to a lot of you guys who reached out through comments, emails, texts, you know, and just really showing a lot of love and support for Lee and I over the last few months. It was really hard to read some of those, but it helped me through a really tough time and I'm sorry if I didn't get back to you, but I want you to know that I did read them all. As any of you that follow us on our Instagram will have seen, in late January, Lee and I put up the announcement uh, that we'd broken up. It had actually been, we'd been split for over a month at that time and we felt like we owed you guys a bit of an explanation as to why we hadn't been posting or filming. And unfortunately, we just didn't feel ready to get in front of the camera at that time. So if you're just finding out about this now, I'm really sorry that it's taken us this long. But yeah, it was, it, you know, breakups are tough. Everyone knows that. And to be honest, we kind of thought doing the Instagram post would be a way where we could do it semi-discreetly while retaining some of our own privacy while we're processing it all. And that didn't go exactly according to plan. Somehow, for some reason, it ended up on the news in Australia, which still blows my mind. And it was obviously a really slow news day here. It also led to us getting roasted on another video and a guy analyzing essentially why we broke up which you know it was full of negativity and i was really sad to read a lot of the comments coming from that video because it was full of assumptions that just weren't true and you know i think lee especially got a hard time out of it and i know it really upset her at the time so yeah it wasn't you know breaking up's never easy and doing so in a public forum is I think even less so but I just want you all to know that we did try really hard to make it work but unfortunately it, it didn't work out and I just want to say that being from opposite sides of the world does make things a hundred times harder when you're uh, when you're going through some tough times so yeah Without repeating too much of what Max has already said, I want to personally also say thank you. Thank you to everybody who has reached out to both Max and I on our account or has personally reached out and shared your love and support with me. And thank you for everybody who also remains silent and actually just gave us the space that we needed to process and grieve and move through these emotions in our own time, knowing that when we were ready, we were going to share with you again. So. I really appreciate this community. As Max did mention, I still do struggle with building up my own boundaries and walls around not letting negativity slide through. Um, due to the way that things kind of played out, it at times did get to me with other people having assumptions on how the story went, but knowing that what we did was true to ourselves and that's all that matters. It's something I'm actively always working on and I think there's always going to be that kind of balance and struggle in this online space. I have to remind myself sometimes that I'm actually even talking to so many of you right now because in reality, I'm actually just sitting in my living room talking to my camera. So there is that strange disconnect that I'm working through, but overall, what's really made me love doing what we did and creating this YouTube channel is creating that connection with so many of you because we would have traveled with or without YouTube, but it made it such a fuller, more engaging and all around more fulfilling experience being able to share that with you. So thank you again. I want to then pick up where we left you in our story. The last you knew we actually had our van in LA. We both flew back to pick it up and to collect our things in Aki. That is where we said our goodbyes and I actually drove the van and Aki home to Canada. A big shout out to my dad who's currently upstairs 
for flying down to LA and doing the drive with me. It was just a few days before Christmas, so we actually drove over 5,000 kilometers um, home in three days because we had a really great weather window. And as most of you know, it can get quite cold and snowy in the Northern States and where I am in Canada. So we wanted to get home before Christmas. We wanted to get the van home and Aki home and you know, just take the break that we needed. So from since then, the van has kind of sat in the driveway and is really just my vehicle to move Aki to and from his daily walks at the moment. Uh, we don't have a heater in the van, so even though I had thought maybe I'll go into the woods one night and, you know, cozy up and read a book, that didn't, that just didn't happen. So now that it's spring, as Max said, we are preparing to sell the van. Uh, for now, our good friends, Eamon and Beck, are borrowing our van since they had to leave theirs in Morocco due to the pandemic. And we are going to prepare it to sell afterwards. So we really put so much love into the craftsmanship and the build and so many memories into the van that I'm looking forward to, you know, selling it on to somebody who's also ready to start a van life adventure of their own and can continue to make incredible memories in that 40 to 60 square foot space because it is something that will always be special to us and I would love to see it hit the road again and do what it loves to do, which is travel and create amazing memories. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you are wondering about what's going on with Oki in all of this. Pretty much as soon as Lee and I did break up, I looked up on the Australian government website what steps I needed to take to get Oki home. And it was with that that I came to the unfortunate realization that it was gonna be a minimum of a six month wait to get him back. And that's just due to Australia's strict border protection laws. He has to have another rabies titer test and then stay in Canada for that time. That was obviously heartbreaking for me to find out considering everything else that was going on. After a couple of days thinking about it, I came to the super tough decision that I was gonna fly home to Australia. It was coming into peak winter in Canada and I couldn't really live in the van in that time. So I flew back to Australia to be sort of around friends and family and Lee and her family put their hand up to, to look after Oki in the meantime, which I can't begin to express how grateful I am to them. The fact that I know that he's in such good care while I'm not with him has really made it such a less stressful situation than it could have been. So yeah, I'm, I'm super grateful to them and I've been able to FaceTime Oki regularly and Lee's kept me posted with updates and yeah, I even called him for his birthday the other day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aki. Hip hip. Hooray! And so I did actually also plan on visiting Aki to break up the six months. I was going to come about three months in. But obviously with the state of the world at the moment, I can't exactly fly anywhere. So, you know, at the moment, he's going to be back in three months. And fingers crossed, flights are back by then. <laughs> So this is currently <laughs> what the daily routine looks like for Aki, protecting his new casa and backyard. I am getting back on my feet over here in Canada and in the meantime, very graciously, my parents are letting me live with them. So we're really lucky to have this backyard with a protected ravine behind us, especially during the 14 days of quarantine when I returned home from Morocco. I couldn't go and see anybody, so it was a way for me to be able to walk with Aki in the forest. And yeah, he's loving his little backyard space. It's like this guy was made to live in cold places. Not this girl, but he's okay with it. And finally, that brings us up to where we are now. I just wanted to touch on that I'm feeling really good. As I said, it was a tough initial couple of months, but I'm in a really good headspace now. I'm feeling probably the fittest I've ever been, which, you know, that's single life, I think. And I have got something that I want to share with you guys. Check it out.
I have been so excited to share this van with you guys. I only bought it a few weeks ago after spending two months looking for a van that would work as the ultimate off-grid van to get me and Oppie exploring Australia once he gets back and all this craziness blows over. It is not a Sprinter, it is an Iveco and it is bloody huge. It's dual wheel, it can take extra weight, it can tow three and a half ton. It's extra tall, which I'd have to go a fair way back for you to see it. It's extra long, it's gonna have a shower and a toilet and it is gonna challenge me. To be honest, I'm nervous about the build out. I thought I would remember more from my last one or the one before that, but I don't, so I'm gonna be relearning a lot of this stuff with it. And the plan is I am gonna be converting it on this channel. I'll be uploading videos on the Max and Lee channel starting within the week. So I'm gonna be cutting a hole in the roof right above me very shortly. And yeah, I'm not gonna to stick to a strict Sunday schedule like in the past. Instead, I'm gonna try and get videos out more often. I know weekends mean a lot less to a lot of people at the moment, so I'm gonna try and get out videos pretty often. I would love for you guys to follow along and I wanna make this build series a little bit more interactive. For each video, I'm gonna pick my favorite comment from that video and I'm gonna address it in the next video. So it's gonna be very much real time and you know, that doesn't necessarily have to be a question about the van, it can be something funny, it can be anything, but I'd love for you guys to get on board and help me through this. Then, once Oki gets back, which is in, yeah, as I said, about three months, I am looking at starting a new channel with Oki, and it's gonna be, for now, aptly named Max and Oki, and I have already created it, so I'm gonna link that in the description below. It'll be next to Lee's new channel, which I think you guys should definitely also check out. I know she's gonna put amazing content out there. With the Max and Oki channel, it is gonna be revolving around us, but us living in the van and traveling Australia and just living kind of a little bit more of a different lifestyle. If you head to there now, I've already put up an introduction video on there, and that one will have a bit more details about this van, what's gonna happen, and that's also where the Oki reunion video is gonna fall. So make sure you head over there, click subscribe and notifications for when they come up. Guys, I'm really excited to share this next chapter with you. I have to admit, I was really nervous to get filming again, and that's one of the reasons it's taken us so long. It is kind of daunting putting yourself out there on such a public forum, and to do it solo is even more nerve wracking, but I knew this was something that I would really regret if I didn't give it another shot. And I just wanna finish by saying thank you all so much as a community. Lee and I love what we built with this channel, and you know that's why we want the channel to continue on. We're gonna use it as a platform to show off this van build, but also to promote stuff Lee's got going on. And really just to keep this community together, we, I really hope you guys go across to our channels as well. And yeah, let's keep that adventure rolling. Welcome to my new studio space, AKA my apartment, and where I have spent a lot of time really going inward, moving my body, and decluttering my mind from a lot of the emotions that have risen in the last few months. Some of you might already recognize this space through the fitness videos I've been sharing on my Instagram page. I teamed up with Amy and Beck and we started a 21 day fitness challenge to move our bodies every day for 10 minutes. And it really sparked a passion inside me that I've always had for health, wellness, and mobility. As a kid growing up, I played tons of different sports and I have tried every form of working out possible. So I have a lot of knowledge and I'm excited to share more about that on my own personal YouTube channel, Life With Lee. I am both terrified and excited to put myself back out there on my own. As Max said, it's such a different feeling doing it alone than when we had each other. However, we are gonna continue to support each other and help each other on our personal journeys as we go because there is a lot of love and respect between the both of us that will never waver. I am so grateful for everything that we did do together and yeah, we're gonna continue to support each other on our own journeys. So we will be sharing on here for the next few months and then we'll be moving to our own channels going forward. For me, I'm not gonna put pressure on myself to meet any sort of expectation. My channel will be changing and evolving because that's how I'm gonna be going as it's my real life journey. I want to share with you and open up a little bit more of the behind the scenes, some stories from the road that we never really had a chance to share. 
um, share more about health and wellness and fitness and travel. One day when all of this craziness calms down and life goes back to normal or new, the new normal that it's gonna be, I'm always gonna have a burning desire to travel and I'm looking forward to sharing it in my own unique way with you. One of my initial ideas actually, before everything happened, was when we sell our van, taking the investment I put into it and getting my own smaller, more compact 4x4 with all of my camping equipment already in it so I can just head on the road whenever I want to. I might not be particularly interested in doing full-time van travel right now, but I'm always gonna have this burning desire to get out and travel. And even since I've been home, I went to Hawaii and to Kelowna, and I most recently went to Morocco, which again, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen all those trips. And so it, travel inevitably is gonna be something I'm gonna share, but it's not gonna be everything. And I'm not gonna pigeonhole myself and say that it's one thing I'm gonna be delivering because I have a lot that I want to share with you and I'm really nervous and excited. So thank you again for all of your ongoing support. I look forward to having a chance to reconnect with many of you on here after a long time. And I want this to be, yeah, like Max said, like a total community project. Before I go, that reminds me of community. I know a lot of you are still here to see Aki. And as I am caring for Aki for the next few months still, I would love to get creative, hear some of your inputs and put together some content to really showcase what his life is looking like here now. So I'd love to brainstorm with you if you have any ideas, day in the life. Um, right now it's gonna look a lot like just Aki and I because I am following all of the guidelines to social isolate and other than having my parents live upstairs, I haven't seen anybody and I'm not going to be seeing anybody in the near future, but that all means more reason to get creative and find new cool ways to share about what we're up to. So thank you again. Look forward to connecting soon. Namaste.